happy Labor Day weekend, everyone. It has been a minute since I went on a proper adventure and I figured, hey, it's basically the last weekend of summer. So instead of sitting and painting and working on the van, I figured to just go out um, and go up to probably my favorite spot really in the Western United States or in the United States in general. And that's Jackson Hole. The van is certainly not complete at all, but I have a bed, I have a refrigerator, so and kind of make my way. And I'm just gonna enjoy the weekend up here in Jackson Hole. I had quite the eventful morning, actually. I basically drove halfway last night and stopped at a truck stop. Um, right in the middle and I was so tired because I got in at like 11 that I just kind of like laid down on the bed and I kind of accidentally fell asleep and I didn't realize my lights were still on and the radio was like quietly playing and so I woke up at like 3 in the morning to it still on and so I was like oh god this is not gonna be good long story short my battery was dead luckily the staff at the truck stop was super friendly and at like 5 30 in the morning they came out with their car and helped me jump the van and even gave me a free coffee so the plan is to meet up with my sister at some point this weekend or today or whatever we're kind of going up through the uh the pass here that's going to lead us to jackson no cell service uh, but an absolutely beautiful day I think I'm over here. You are to the left. You have snacks? I have three yogurts and ramen noodle, so I'm good. I can literally stay all weekend. All right. All right, see you later. So Nakat had to go to work. She's gonna go, I think, for about like four hours. So it kind of leaves me the rest of the day to kind of explore and do my own thing, I guess. You can see I literally just fell asleep last night. I didn't even like make the bed or anything. I just slept like right there on this uh, blanket and that's why my battery died. So I'm gonna actually close this up really quick so I have some more space and then head up to the Tetons. And that way we'll kind of see how the bed system works. It's actually quite simple, even with one person and a 60 pound futon. And there we go, just like that, the bed is up. The hardest part with one person doing this is just the weight of the futon. But that take like less than a minute to put everything away. So super stoked that this all came together. And there's no better feeling than having a full size bed in your van when you go to sleep at night. It's really, really nice. Well, it turns out Natcat did not have to work today. So after a little bit of running around, we finally got out to a trailhead. We're just gonna go for an easy walk up to some of the lakes around here. We actually did this back in February when we went snowshoeing. We're gonna go to, what is it, Taggart, and then... Maybe Bradley Lake. Yeah, maybe wander on to Bradley, so. Beautiful day for it. It's one of those almost fake looking bluebird days, so. I haven't been on a hike since like February, so. Getting my stride back, feels good. Oh. I got this unreal view. This is Taggart Lake, the one that we were going to go to, but we decided to opt around, but we came up for this like viewpoint area and it's just absolutely beautiful. But I think we're getting close to Bradley Lake, so we're gonna keep on moving. Check out this spot here, guys. We made it up to Bradley Lake. It's so peaceful here, it makes me wanna just like whisper because I don't wanna raise my voice too loud because it's just so peaceful. This will definitely be the sickest hammock spot yeah. that I've done. I think that's perfect. I'll give her a test go. Can you see the mountains up there? Yeah, I can see them right there. I think it's a 10 out of 10 hammock spot. Okay, hike is done. I think it was about probably like four miles, like two each way. Bradley Lake, highly recommend it. Good 
morning guys a beautiful morning here we're at the lupine meadows i believe yep. we're hiking up to delta lake and this is the busiest trailhead because you can hike if you're going to hike the grand climb the grand i should say because you have to hike and then climb this is where you take off from so. the, yeah the grand is the grand teton which is basically the most prominent peak here that you see i think we have about about a four mile. Yeah. We've, we've read like mixed reviews in terms of like the exact length. I think we're preparing for anywhere from a four to five mile one way with a pretty decent amount of, of gain. So this lake looks beautiful. Super stoked um, to get this one under our belt. So hopefully we'll be up there in about two hours. Yeah. And that's, that's the plan. Let's go boss. Let's go boss. Let's go. <laughs> It's a true ice bath. I finally made it up here to Delta Lake after like a tough, tough hike. I don't think, I didn't realize like the last bit of this was just like hiking straight up like a boulder field slash just like the mountain. So it was kind of tough with the camera in my hand. Um, and then after climbing up the whole bit before that, it's pretty tough. I must say guys, that hike took everything out of us yesterday. So we basically did all we could just to make it back down to the van and then we got some food and basically went to sleep because the way down was seemingly harder than the way up because it was just completely down the whole way. And just the way that wears on your quads and your knees, it can be um, deceivingly hard. So anyways, it is the next morning. It's Labor Day today, Monday morning. And I drove up into the park here for sunrise. My memory card just filled up, so I had to swap it out. But basically what I was saying is I want to try to make some coffee here and then show you guys some new stuff with the van. This is my stove set up at the moment. Literally just a camp stove here with a bottle of propane. But that's a trick. We're making some pour over coffee, which is the best way to start off your day, especially when you are in a national park. I want to show you guys my kitchen base cabinet. This was not in in my last video. I put this in, um, I don't know, last week at some point, completely secure. So we have this really big drawer. We put three hinges on there, if you can see it in the corner there. Um, and this is where my water is going to be housed. We still need to put handles on this, but this is a utensil drawer, um, which I think turned out really, really awesome. And we really maximized the space here. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to get a drawer, but the fact that we could get a utensil drawer is pretty cool. This is just a like a fake drawer front. There's nothing here because a sink is going to be here. And here's our Dometic fridge, which has been hooked up and just working. It's decent size. It's not huge, but it's not super small. It keeps things nice and cold. I can adjust the temperature and stuff there, but really stoked on this one. There's even a little freezer up here. Another little thing I'm super proud of is this kind of uh, cutting board little holder here. We have this kind of awkward open space. So in a van, you always want to maximize everything you got. So we just put this other little sort of thing there. You can put cutting boards, cookie sheets if you needed to, plates. I don't really know, but that's in there. And then this drawer, we also need to put a handle on it. It's a little hard to pull without the handle, but this is just a nice heavy duty drawer for underneath. So basically what I need to do now is put the butcher block countertop and kind of cut out the sink and the stove and all that, and then just do the backsplash. And the kitchen is basically all done. The other thing I've added to the van 
which I didn't build or, or anything, but I highly, highly, highly recommend something like this are these window covers. You can see I have them on the backs as well. One of the challenges with a van and stuff is figuring out how you're gonna cover your, your windows and stuff, especially at night when you have your lights on, it's like a people watching party, everyone can just see in here. So getting something that that's easily removable is a huge thing. These are by a company called Van Made Gear. And what's really cool about these is that they are custom for a bunch of different sprinters. So they fit exactly in the windows that you want. They are completely insulated. So when it's hot out, when I pull this down, I can just feel like the heat just sitting there. So it does a very good job of keeping the heat out and also the heat in when it's cold. Um, and you can see they just magnet right like in there so they fit literally perfectly and so what's really cool about these is that they just roll up so if i don't want to use them i can just roll these up i can feel how warm it is and then they have a snap right here that i would then snap and now i have all the like the the light that i need so super super easy very small if i need to just take them out and put them somewhere i can do that as well so really stoked on these because they took a while to come in, but they really, really make the van. And I think it also just matches a whole aesthetic. I went with the, I think, silver ripstop, this is called, and then just the black on the outside. Let me show you guys the view we're working with. Oh, whoa. Way too bright. Pretty unreal. I mean, these mountains are just something else. Just a beautiful day. Stunner. Unfortunately, friends, I think it is time for the Jackson Hole weekend slash van initiation slash test trip to come to a close here. The beauty of this place is unreal, so I had to pull over and just kind of chill by the Snake River one more time because it's just something we don't have a lot of in Utah, is kind of just like these really beautiful sort of um, runoff rivers surrounded by the mountains, so. And it's also been extremely smoky. I heard there were some forest fires up in the south end of Yellowstone, which is essentially the north end of, of Jackson up here due to lightning. I know there's a bunch of fires going on in Utah right now, so you really see that smoke and haze all over, but I'm gonna get in the car and motor back to Park City. Thank you guys so very much for watching another one of my videos. I know the posting has been um, somewhat lackluster and inconsistent lately, but I'm doing my best to get back um, into the, the full sort of two episodes a week sort of thing. But um, just where the state of the van is, it's hard for me to give you guys fresh and engaging content without just totally just forcing something, if that makes sense. But almost done with the build, so I'll see all you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, fam. Peace out. Whoop.